y'all so I have not done a reading vlog in a very very long time and I actually saw Brie so uh, shout out to Brie I love you do <laughs> month-long vlogs and I was like that's pretty damn ingenious because I don't have I think enough footage to like film over the course of a week but I think that if I was to vlog the month it would make more sense to do a month-long vlog shout out to my email going off I just got out of a meeting and I'm about to go pick a little one up but I just wanted to say that I think this month long vlog thing could actually work. Granted now for the month of March we're starting in the middle of the month. Today's the 15th so with that being said hey we love someone who jumps in later than usual to do these things. So I just wanted to give you a quick update of what I've been reading and what I'm currently reading and also show you some books that I have recently acquired and have been gifted per se so the first ones that I have here are from Day Trell and I was gifted Winter which is the last book in the Lunar Chronicles if y'all know I have not finished the Lunar Chronicles yet and I do not own Winter so that is great to have that they also gifted me Clubhouse Mysteries which is the first book the Buried Bones Mystery in Shan Draper series this is the children's book series that I actually was talking about before that Shan Draper has written and I have not read read these so I'm excited to have that first book. I got We Are Not From Here from Terrell so thank you so much to Terrell by Jenny Torres Sanchez. This is one of my favorite books of 2020. I did not have a physical copy but it's nice to have a physical copy and I love having physical copies because guess what that means I can annotate stuff. And then I was sent a copy of a book in the DC Icons series by Alexandra Monier and this is Black Canary Breaking Silence. This is an absolutely beautiful cover. I've I've read a couple of things that had Black Canary in it but I'm interested in reading this adaptation. I'm funny about novelizations of comic book characters because you know I'm a comic book purist at heart so <laughs> but I'm excited to read this one. I'm actually probably going to be focused on reading this one this week because I want to get my review up by the end of the week. I was gifted two more Junji Ito books. I never say this one right. I never. I want to say Gayo Jayo Gyo. Somebody tell me again. Someone told me once and I forgot but I do not have this one. I have four of Junji Ito's books. I did not have this one and I also did not um have Venus in the blind spot. So thank you so much Wendy for adding to my Junji Ito collection. And then let's see what else I have here. I got a picture book which is Car Signs and Porky Porcupines. Porcupines. <laughs> this was sent to me for review. I was also sent Too Small Tola and this is a children's chapter book with illustrations which is really really cute. This is another one that I literally can finish for review this week because it is super super small. So what have I been reading? I've been reading a lot. I have a couple of audiobooks bouncing around right now because I can't make up my freaking mind about stuff. But one that I started listening to this morning that I'm really really excited about is My Eyes Are Up Here by Laura Zimmerman. This is about a young woman who has really really large boobs and she's trying to navigate her teenage years. I believe she's like 15 in this and it's difficult for her. And I think this one is talking a little bit about body, Im body image, body positivity. So that's one that I'm listening to. I also am listening to Ancestor Approved, which is a short story compilation. I'm listening to that one a little slower because of the fact that I am taking notes on each story that I listen to. I don't like to listen to short story compilations just straight through and not take notes on each story. So I'm listening probably to about like a story a day. I'm on the third story right now and I'm taking notes on the stories like I said. So that one's going to take me a little bit longer to finish. Physically right now I am reading The Other Black Girl by Zakia Delilah Harris. I've been reading this one with Isabella over at the Feminist Bookworm and Isabella finished this last night. I did not read last night. I was tired. I went to sleep last night so I didn't get the opportunity to read but I'm hoping to make a dent in this sometime tonight. So those are kind of the, the things that I'm focusing on right now. I don't want to 
come up with this huge entire list of things that I am currently reading but of course you know I have comics going on in the background that I'm reading and a bunch of other stuff so I'll update you with comics as I read them. I'm also doing a separate reading vlog for the All the Things We Never Knew and this was sent to me by Liera Tamani's assistant and this isn't wasn't for like a paid sponsorship or anything like that just sent me the book for review so I'm doing a separate reading vlog for this one and I haven't made much progress but it doesn't matter I'm not gonna really talk about this one in this vlog because there'll be a completely different vlog that goes up I wanted to start a third vlog <laughs> I wanted to start a third vlog because I there was a, a part of a group of books that I'm really interested in reading and getting together and really really trying to get done. I've been trying to do this since January and I haven't done it yet so I'm trying to figure out whether I'm going to make that happen or not. We shall see but once again it'll be a whole group that I'm not going to talk about in this vlog. It is a little after four. I'm going to go take my face off because I just filmed a Dr. Seuss video talking about Dr. Seuss getting canceled. He didn't get canceled. They just decided not to publish his races behind stuff which I agree with and I just made a discussion video about it. So that is one that I am going to look at or edit. Well, I already edited actually. <laughs> not I'm gonna look at it. I'm, uh, that's one that I'm actually going to go ahead and re-watch one more time and make sure that I've edited it the way that I wanted it to be edited. That one will go up tomorrow. And then the vlog for the All the Things We Never Knew book should go up on Thursday. And then my mid-month wrap-up should go up on, on Saturday. All right, y'all. I will check in later. Toodles. Signature latte and a plain donut, please. Small camera craze latte? Yes. Ice? Yes, ice. Okay, and what kind of donut? A regular glaze. A glaze? Yeah. Okay, would that be all for you? Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's 471. Though. Thank okay. you. Okay, good morning. Oh gosh. They did not make this one good. Okay, so it is Tuesday morning, which makes this the 16th, I think. Is it the 16th? Yeah. And I feel horrible this morning. Um, I have really, really bad seasonal allergies. So this is a result of having bad seasonal allergies. I'm glad that it is raining because the rain will wash a lot of the pollen that we've already been seeing already. It's March. Um, it'll wash it all away. So yeah, but I stopped to get coffee because usually caffeine helps with my headaches. Um, but this one that they made is not good. Every now and then I'll stop and get a caramel craze latte from Dunkin' Donuts because it's cheaper than me going to Starbucks. And there's not a Starbucks near me on my way to work. So yeah, and it's not good today. <laughs> it's not good at all. It's so, oh gosh. It's all right though. Anyway, reading. So, since I'm on my way to work, I am listening to My Eyes Are Up Here by Laura Zimmerman. I'm on chapter 34, I think, is what my radio screen appears to be telling me, is that I'm on chapter 34. It's interesting. I, I think I'm going to be leaning more towards, like, a three-star or 
a three and a half star read, no higher than that. I think some of the commentary is nice, but like, I really don't like her mom. Her mom is awful. Like her mom is just not a nice person. So because her mom isn't a nice person, it makes their relationship really, really complicated. And I don't like narratives where like teens are struggling with body image stuff and they don't have a good parental support system. So that bothers me a little, just a tad, just a tad. So I think that any scenes in which is her and her mom, I get kind of frustrated with the book overall. But it definitely is an, unlike a book that I've read before in terms of like breasts being the main point of the conversation in terms of body image. And I've had friends who struggled a lot with having bigger breasts than their peers, especially when you're in middle school and high school and you're developing at a rate that's faster than everyone else around you. It can be a very, very awkward experience. I had that experience, but in my hips and my ass. And some aspects of that were rather uncomfortable. So it definitely is chronicling like her experience and having to deal with stuff like that and how uncomfortable it is making her and how she has self-esteem issues and she doesn't wear clothes that actually fit her because of the fact that she doesn't want people to see how large her breasts are. So I like that it's tackling that and the writing is pretty good. The writing almost feels a little juvenile for it to be about a sophomore student, but I mean, it's not, it's not that serious of a, of a thing. So I'm going to continue listening to that and I'm headed to work and I'll check in with y'all later when I can. Hey y'all, so I'm doing a check-in. I actually, it's late. It's like 12 in the morning and I should be in bed, but I can't sleep. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I drank coffee today, but I drank coffee this morning. So I didn't have any coffee in between. Like, I drank that coffee at like nine o'clock this morning. But I know that Brie has been talking about like when you drink coffee and how it can completely like screw up your sleep pattern. So I don't know, <laughs> but it's frustrating because I really want to sleep, but I'm like wide awake. So I've been reading, I've been watching some videos, I've been binging Nicole's from Who Picked This Book, I've been binging her vlogs, so Nicole, <laughs> I've been watching your vlogs, I just haven't been commenting because I usually watch everything on my TV, so that's always fun when I'm at home. And I've been getting a little bit of reading done. So the first thing that I have been reading for another vlog is all the things we never knew which I'm not going to talk about in here because the vlog for this will go up before this final vlog and I also read Wakanda Forever by Nettie Okorafor which <laughs> this is so interesting so I have read Black Panther comics before I've read the first volume of ta Coates's run with Black Panther and then I read who is Black Panther. I read that a while ago but it's not like I have this extensive knowledge of like Black Panther and Wakanda so of course I've seen the movie and Nakia is definitely portrayed super different in the movie than she is in the comics. So in the comics I, I get the vibe that Nakia was a little bit younger than T'Challa when she became a part of the Dora Milaje and I did not realize that she becomes obsessed with T'Challa and she goes crazy and she becomes malice and basically this has to do with like Koye having to go her it's a Koye, Ayo, and Anika having to go and find Nakia because she's absolutely gone batshit crazy and <laughs> this was kind of a weird read for me because it was like a love triangle situation so if you didn't know which I'm, I don't like at this point you either know or you don't know it's not a spoiler type of situation but of course Storm 
is T'Challa's partner if you didn't know that like Storm and T'Challa are together and what's interesting about this Nikki is really really pissed about that so it becomes like this love triangle but very like one-sided on Nikia's end and I don't know if I was really like digging that as a storyline <laughs> to be quite honest I was like not I'm reading a Black Panther comic that is uh, basically about a love triangle like I would rather not <laughs> but it is and it does bring some other people from like the Avengers Captain America is in this She-Hulk is in this Spider-Man is in this and some of the X-Men are also part of this because Storm is there so Rogue is there and so is Nightcrawler and it was I mean it was interesting for the most part but I think it's gonna be like a three-star read for me but the back had Black Panther annual number one and it's so strange <laughs> it was so strange reading this because you pretty much learn all about T'Challa's partners two partners that he had prior to meeting Storm which was interesting because I didn't know of his previous two partners prior to like his relationship with Storm and then <laughs> we get this last section of the annual that is it's called i want to make sure i find the title of it it's called black to the future part two so i didn't get access to part one but i can if i just go through marvel unlimited and read it that's nothing that, that ain't nothing to do that but it is a look at t'challa when he's older and has grandchildren and I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I did not realize that freaking, um, goodness gracious, what is the guy's name? Now I'm forgetting his name. He's married to Jessica Jones. Oh, Luke Cage. I was like, why can't I remember his name? I did not know that Luke Cage and T'Challa are in-laws, y'all. Like, small freaking world. Small freaking world. Even... Dagon Namor and T'Challa are in laws. <laughs> like, I'm like, what the world is going on? But the ending for the Black to Future Part 2 was really, really good. So I'm really excited about that. I think that was the annual, the Black Panther annual number one was really good. But I don't feel like the actual, like, Wakanda Forever story was super strong. I have some other comics lined up that I could possibly read in the meantime. I do want to make it through Shuri which is another Nadia Korvor comic in Wakanda. I have Generations Forge. I can read Champions issue number one because I think issue number five comes out this week for a new comic book week. Miss Marvel Kamala Khan by G. Willow Wilson. This would be a reread for me. And then Justice League United the New 52 version of this one. I probably want to ring Shang-Chi which is the movies coming out I think this year. Truth and Justice because this is about Vixen and the second issue of this I believe also drops this week so I have a couple options. I probably will end up reading Truth Justice because I've been meaning to read this since it came out and I haven't read it. Alright y'all that's it. I probably won't check in for the rest of tonight. <laughs> I'll check in with y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, I'm checking in and it is like the 25th. So it's been like what nine days since I did a check-in? <sighs> maybe something like that. Maybe it's just been a week. Maybe it's been a little over a week. So maybe like seven or eight days. Um I have not vlogged, and this is why I wanted to start doing month-long vlogs. I have not vlogged because <clears throat> honestly my life is so hectic and 
it's crazy and it's busy and this past week of work for me has been really really crazy um so i have not had time to really film i haven't really put up any new content on youtube i haven't been really doing anything on instagram i haven't been on twitter i just have not been anywhere i've kind of been off the grid because i've been busy i don't know like if i told anyone but I've been taking a course, like a class, <laughs> which is a lot of work. I've just, for training purposes, I decided to apply and enroll in this course. And literally at night, I literally just want to relax and go to sleep. So that's what I've been doing. I haven't really been, I haven't really been doing anything like social media wise. I have been reading and I'm going to do this quickly because my battery is actually like really really low and I'm going to show you some book mail really really quick. Today's also new, well yesterday was new comic book day but it is my time to pick up some comics um, before I pick up baby girl. Also my car got messed up last week. I ran over a shovel so I'm currently driving a rental. <laughs> That just this past week and some change y'all has been it's been so it's been so crazy so I've actually been reading a lot of comics to be quite honest with you I don't even remember the last things that I told y'all that I've read because it's just been pretty much that long but I'm gonna try to fill you in and maybe like not be too redundant with this I think I told you about Berserker which is Keanu Reeves is <laughs> his comic book maybe I didn't I know I talked about Wakanda the one that Nnedi Okorafor did but I read Berserker which is Keanu Reeves his comic book series it's so freaking gory but I'm interested in still reading it I've been reading a lot of DC lately so I read Future State Justice League number two I read Sensational Wonder Woman number one I read Suicide Squad number one I read Crime Syndicate issue number one. I read X-Men, Demon Days X-Men number one, which was done by Peach Momoko, which the art was good, but I didn't really like the story that much. I read The Joker issue number one, which was fan freaking tabulous. It was so good. Five stars. I also read Wonder Woman issue number 770, uh, which has Thor in it. It's just interesting and it's not a crossover between DC and Marvel. Everybody knows like Thor is a part of Norse mythology well known before Marvel decided to capitalize on him. It's Spell on Wheels volume number one. I read Justice League issue number 59 and then I have a whole bunch of stuff that I haven't even written reviews for yet that I finished which is so crazy. I just well let me go through the stuff that I that I finished not just finished I'll talk about it in a second so I read The Swamp Thing number one by Ram V Batman number 106 which I'm not a big Batman fan but I kind of did like that issue Sabrina the Teenage Witch by Kelly Thompson I actually really really like that I didn't think I was gonna like anything with Sabrina Teenage Witch in it but it actually was pretty good I read Shadow Doctor issue number one by Peter Calloway which is based on a true story about a black doctor who I think gets mixed up with the mob. That's interesting. I've read this short, I don't know, it's like a suspense. It wasn't really a romance. I feel like it was more suspense than anything but then not really. I don't know how to explain it but it was Sins of the Father. It's like a three star read. The writing was very elementary. It was structurally it didn't flow well for me but interesting story. I read two black love queer romances. The Magical Femme and Erotic Short Story which was great. Had a wonderful mirror scene to it. And I also read One Two Three Love by Tuesday Harper which is a poly and relationship which really like borderlines being a romance. I mean it is a romance but it definitely shows how difficult it could potentially be to be in a polyam relationship and it was good because I have not seen romances where it's polyam and it's three women and all of them are black. That was good. <laughs> I also ended up finishing 
Dr. Stone volume 2 finally. It was not as good as the first volume. Probably like a 3.5 or a 4 for me. And I also just finished listening to Fighting Words by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. That one was tough. That one deals a lot with sexual abuse of minors and <sighs> I mean it was good. It's, it was a five star read for me hands down. Easily a five star read but it was not easy at all. Oh I also read 15 inches by Madison Fay because Nicole convinced me to read it. I was watching a live show. She was on Charles's channel and they were doing a live show and they start talking about Madison Fay and I went in read 15 inches <laughs> it was wild probably like a three five for me i'm thinking a three five okay so what am i currently reading still making my way through an unkindness of ghosts i started reading thick because this is our patreon buddy pick for the month i am making my way through the first essay and i'm annotating it a lot a whole lot I still have not made any progress through the other black girl but I need to <laughs> because Isabella like I said I think in the last time I did an update Isabella has already finished this so I'm definitely behind I just in the evening time I just have not <laughs> I have not felt like reading <laughs> but I do have some book mail so I'm gonna show that to you really quick before my battery dies or hopefully before my battery dies this one is from, it came in one of these cute little bags. This one is from Chris. Chris said it's such a sweet note. I'm not gonna read it out loud. <laughs> but thank you so much. And let's see what Chris sent me. Oh, this is the new cover. Oh, this is so pretty. This is crazy. Okay, so it matches this one. Okay, so Chris got me The Book of Phoenix, which is the prequel technically to uh, Who Fears Death. I really, really want to read this. But I did not know that these had like matching covers. Like the, the font, definitely. Oh gosh, these are really, really gorgeous. Thank you so much, Chris. Wow, that is gorgeous. Okay. So, I definitely have been on a Dr. Nettie Accor for kick. Let's just keep that going. I also was contacted by Onway Press. They're out of the UK. And they sent me an arc of Dream Country, which is a fantasy that is coming out. And this is about gods. It's about a triplet of gods. And it's infused with Kenyan, Brazilian, Jamaican, and Grecian cultural references. <laughs> like okay so this is this is the arc of it but i believe this is what the cover is going to look like absolutely gorgeous i have been doing well with like i had some backlog of arcs that i've been trying to catch up with this month and i've actually been doing a great job of keeping up with that stuff so i'm very happy but i need to make sure i stay with my current arcs i also was sent a copy of something's wrong and this was sent to me from mcmillan they had a promo thing going this week but I wasn't really able to participate because I hadn't gotten my copy of my book yet. But they have this sheet where you decorate your own underwear. I may do that tonight. And have, have Baby Girl help me. Because that is really, really cool. And then I have some other stuff here. I'm not going to show you every single one of these issues because I think it would just be too much. But Chloe from Thistle and Verse sent me some comics that she was getting rid of so I have like Batman there's the Hulk I didn't know that like she had all of these there's a Sensational Spider-Man is in this one she actually had two issues of Sensational Spider-Man there's the Amazing Spider-Man I need to get my bags and boards for these there's Batman there's more Batman and then there's a like a whole bunch of like more Spider-Man in here originally well she told me that she had some similar issues so thank you so much for sending those to me Chloe but originally we were just we were talking about um this 
which is X-Men Masterworks, the Uncanny X-Men Masterworks, volume one. And this, of course, is by Stanley and Jack Kirby. Excited to read this because I want to read more of X-Men, but I always get very weary <laughs> of where to start. <laughs> but I know that I was supposed to read the Uncanny X-Men sometime this month anyway for my next project. So that's always good. Happy to have that. And then Michelle kindly sent me Nubia. So this is a new YA graphic novel that was done by L.L. McKinney based off of like Nubia. If you didn't know, Nubia is the twin sister of Diana. So I'm excited. I actually started reading this digitally and Michelle didn't know if I already had a copy or not, but she sent this my way and I'm so appreciative of it. And oh gosh, this is just... I'm so excited to read this. I'm really, really excited. I've been super, super into Nubia lately because of what they've been doing with Nubia for DC Future State. So excited about that. I have another package here, which I wish I would have opened up before getting on camera. Okay, and then from Harper Collins, I got What Would You Do in a Book About You? And I'm excited to read this one. The actual like dust jacket is really, really glossy, which I thought it was a lie. <laughs> it was a library covering or binding bef before I realized that it was just glossy because I've never really felt it like that. But the artwork in this is really, really pretty. So this will be a fun one for me and baby girl to read. So now we have even more picture books for us to read and check out. And the last thing that I got is from my friend Roxanne sent me <laughs> Tokyo Ghoul the complete box set. Okay, so this is the complete set. This has all the volumes in it. <laughs> so crazy that it has all of the volumes in it. This is wild, y'all. This is absolutely wild. Okay. So yeah, it has all 14 volumes <laughs> of Tokyo Ghoul. This is wild. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited to have this box set. It's it's heavy and it's huge. I know this is this is exciting because I've heard nothing but great things about Tokyo Ghoul and once I finish this, I can get into Tokyo Ghoul Re. So happy, happy, happy to have this lovely box set. If you could see all the sides of it. There you go. And it's just gorgeous. It's just absolutely gorgeous. All right. So plans for right now. I have a couple of live shows coming up. <laughs> I have two live shows this weekend. And I have finished neither of the books for either live show, but today is Thursday, so I'm not really stressing about that. But I need to finish up the second book in the Lioness Quartet, which is in the Hand of the Goddess, which is going to be on my channel tomorrow night at 8.30. That's absolutely, <laughs> that's absolutely wonderful. Um, but I did start reading it, and I plan to get a big chunk of it done tonight because... I think work tomorrow is going to be a little busy <laughs> and then on Saturday I am going to be on Tamika's channel and we are going to be discussing Dirty Kisses by Kenya Wright for her Taboo Book Club. So I have a lot to do. I just have been able to breathe finally and take kind of like a little bit of a break. I just <sighs> life, 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 man. All right. So it's about that time for me to go pick up my little one anyway. So before I get to her daycare, I'm going to stop at my local comic book shop and pick up my picks for this week. And I will show y'all what those picks are later. Okay, y'all. So I did my comic book run. They had two comics that I needed, but they didn't have. 
and it was my Batman Superman and my Teen Titan Academy so those are on back order but I did get Batman detective comics I got action comics which is up uh, whatever well it's this way action comics I got carnage black white and blood the artwork in that one's supposed to be really good the new Harley Quinn of course shadow doctor which I'm gonna eat up and oh I didn't realize I had this that many more <laughs> um, I got Nightwing because I've been hearing a lot of things about white Nightwing I wasn't gonna get it originally but then I was like okay I'll get it and then I got punchline and then also sensational Wonder Woman number one so I read I thought I read sensational Wonder Woman number one I didn't I read an old issue which was issue number nine which is a wrong issue so I wrote a review on that one and that's not the right review <laughs> so I need to read the actual sensational Wonder Woman issue number one and go from there but um gonna go get baby and then I will check in later hello 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 okay so it is March 31st which means that it is the <clears throat> last day of the month and I have uh oh my battery was low I've read a lot more. Someone is smoking something illegal in the cart in front of me. <laughs> but I have read quite a bit since I did my last update. I think my last update was like on the 23rd. So I'm actually on my way to go pick up the baby. I just got out of a meeting not too long ago. Well, actually it was a while ago because it's definitely after five now. But I am headed to go pick her up and I'm still listening to everything I never told you or not everything I never told you little fires everywhere I don't think I I don't think I ever said that I was actually reading this book in any of the clips so fun for me but I think I'm going to do a major update when I get home later. I'm not going to do a major update now because clearly I can't do a major update right now. That's about it. I just wanted to let you know that I'm still listening to that. And I have two hours and 54 minutes left. But I do listen faster than normal or than, you know. So I y'all know what I mean here. Like the speed is increased. I don't know why I was having such a difficult time getting that out. But yeah, so the speed is increased. So I listened to it at two times speed. So probably only have like an hour and a half left, which is cool, which means I probably will end up finishing that today. I have a book that, should, I have a couple books that I should have finished by Sunday, that my goal should be to finish them by Sunday. I'm still trying to figure out how that's gonna go, but we're gonna try to make it happen my lockversary is coming up so i'm trying to hold off on twisting my hair i got this one little piece that keeps coming out of my locks that's annoying it's frustrating because it sticks up like alfalfa like that i hate that <laughs> but i'm i'm not retwisting until closer to my lockversary so i've officially been locked for almost a year now like literally 11 days outside of a year so happy about that but yeah that's it for this check-in I will do a closeout clip kind of go over everything that I've read I'm not gonna do like full extensive review save that for the wrap-up but now that I think I'm kind of more comfortable with this format of vlogging I think that I'm gonna stick with this for the rest of the year so we'll just do month loon vlogs like I said at the beginning of this vlog like definitely shout out to Brie from the Lock Petition because this is a great idea. I don't know if we got this idea from someone else, but like I usually just see weekly vlogs. I don't think I've ever seen a month long vlog until I saw Brie do it, so yeah. Hey y'all, so this is the final clip for the March reading vlog. I actually ended up reading a lot <laughs> this month. I'm not gonna even go through everything because I don't even remember exactly where I stopped in clips and because I had so much going on in March. So, I have no idea where I technically stopped. I do know that I read over 50 things in the month of March, which is crazy. Of course, that means that page count was a little bit lower because of the fact that I read a lot of comics. And, I mean, that's perfectly fine. Like, not a big deal. So, yes. I think that that is going to be it. I actually have, like, one last unboxing before I close out this 
vlog and that's the unplugged book box okay so this is the March young adult box and it is identity and I am all this stuff baby girl loves this stuff I don't particularly love this stuff so it's hard to clean up okay so the first thing that I see is a candle and it says amber mystery in absence and it says kel so this appears to be from a darker shade of magic which i still have not read but it smells really really good and that's what it looks like if i can get the camera to focus this is cute so this says i declare after all there is no enjoyment like reading look at that that is pretty and there this must be a spoon that goes with it you know actually this will be good for baby girl and her snack time yeah this is so cute pride and prejudice snack trinket tray she will absolutely adore this she will love eating snacks off of this she needs a smaller uh, plate to use anyway let's see what this is this is a separate box it's a mug so the, this is a dread nation mug which is pretty cool this was designed by the art of nathana erica nathana nathana one of the two so this is a mug this is dimple so this is from must be from when rishi meant dimple warm evening cherry blossom whip soap i believe i got whip soap in the last box i was holding it up to the camera so y'all can smell it y'all can't smell this but it's pretty and it smells really really good and this looks like it might be from yeah yadriel this must be from cemetery boys so this is cemetery boys tea and i thought that this was actually a part of that trinket and tray this is a tea strainer for loose leaf tea so if you make tea and it has loose leaf in it you actually can use this as a straw and then what it will do is it stops the loose leaf from getting through the straw with this strainer at the bottom that's pretty freaking neat that's really really neat i like that i hate drinking loose leaf tea like absolutely hate it and the last thing i have here is a cruel prince bookmark okay so this is this month's book so the book for the month of March is If I Tell You the Truth by Jasmine Karu. And this is a book that is partly written in verse. So it's a mix of prose and verse, which is actually perfect because April is National Poetry Month here in the U.S. So this could be a potential read. And it is about a young girl who leaves her home of Punjab to travel to Canada after a sexual assault leaves her pregnant and it has to do not only with that but how to use your voice when you're a part of a marginalized community like what do you have to do in order for your voice to be heard so I'm excited for this one I think this one is going to be hard I did not realize that this was Jasmine's sophomore novel the first book that they wrote was when you asked me where i'm going i have not read that one but this one is this prose poetry there's illustration in this i haven't read a mixed media book in a very very long time so this should be nice because it even has stuff like like text messages and stuff like that so this is such a simple cover but also very very beautiful all right y'all so that's definitely everything that I've done and what I've had for the month of March. This vlog was a little bit on the chaotic side because one, I started in the middle of the month and two, I had extremely, extremely busy at work, but I'm sure it's still gonna be a lengthy vlog because it's just me. But I am going to show you all of the books that I read this month. Of course, I'm not going to talk about them here. If you wanna know my thoughts and stuff like that, you should watch my March final wrap up which will be coming after this video so make sure you're out you're on the lookout <laughs> for that and I'll be back with another video soon if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content from me click the subscribe button hit the bell for notifications and yeah I'll see y'all around be prepared for the April vlog I'm actually going to start at the beginning of the month this time so yes bye